WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow traded down 120. NASDAQ up 151. S&P is up 11 and a half. They ran it right up into the close, folks. Um, gold. Gold contract up $5.40, trading at 2,332 an ounce. We had silver down 55 cents, $29.31 an ounce. Late sweet crude up 22 cents. $77.96 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note up 15 ticks, trading 109.18. The 30-year up 27 at 117.28 in King Dollar. King Dollar up 110 ticks, 105, 261 euro, 107, yen 157, British pound 127. We get over and take a look at the SPY first. Yeah, we're gonna have light of volume, but guess what? You're at all time highs, man. So what is the, what is intriguing? Well, here, let's do this first. So you got 31 million shares. You know, we should be banging out uh, 57. <laughs> it is what it is. We take a look at the Qs. Same type of setup. Now, the Qs are pulling away from the highs. That's how strong the Qs actually are. So the Qs are up 315. Last high, just intraday high, was the uh, 465. You're at 467.21. That being said, you got 21 million shares, and we should be banging out about 40 million shares. So that's half the volume. Now, what's intriguing, no doubt, is that when you we're just going through that with Tim, is that when that ratio, you know, the ratio between the... SPX and the VIX, okay, turn. Now, if you remember, now this was months ago, okay, but when he did the ratio between the SPX and the TLT, I would have liked to see that one too. I should ask him that. But bottom line, I remember that specifically when it turned, the market looked like it was going to still keep going. And guess what, man? It turned in a second. So we get the CPI tomorrow, 830. I think that's going to be some action out here. And then we get into the, get into the dollar for a second because that dollar, Looks to me like it's going to go after its all-time highs. Not all-time highs. The, the last high we had about uh, three months ago. That would be at the 106.490 area. If that's what we get, it's going to be a trip. But I, I, a lot of that's going to come tomorrow, folks. That's the bottom line. That CPI, after the jobs report, that's going to be a big deal. Um, the Fed, you know, I think the Fed's going to say that, hey, Inflation is still coming down. We're not ready to come down on rates yet. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit uh, Tommy and Jacob tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Oh, Look at them, folks.